This video will show you how SEMROC visually inspects filters for two key criteria, scratches and digs. SEMROC catalog filters are typically inspected to a 60-40 scratch dig specification, but custom product customers may request a tighter or looser specification depending upon their requirements. SEMROC associates are carefully trained and certified in order to identify, characterize, and determine if a filter meets the customer's specified requirements for scratch dig. The first step in our training process is to review the standard, focusing on the visual defect definitions and how they are characterized. The associate is then paired with a SEMROC certified trainer who acquaints them with the workspace layout, the Bryson comparison standard, and the procedure for the clean and inspect process. After observing the trainer using the correct method, the associate begins inspecting filters against the comparison standard. Through repetitive use of the standard, the associate begins to develop their eye and judgment skills. Eventually, the associate becomes capable of judging scratch dig against the specification, rarely relying on the comparison standard. During this training and certification process, the filters that a trainee inspects are always re-inspected by a certified associate. In this way, SEMRAC ensures that these filters always meet specification. Any defective filters that are found are returned to the trainee with feedback for learning. As defined by the American National Standard Institute, either a 40-watt incandescent lamp or two 15-watt fluorescent lamps are used to illuminate the test units against a black background. Filters are inspected by eye and compared to the comparison standard. For all inspections, the parts are held under the lamp at 45 degrees relative to the associate's eye. Under these conditions, a visual inspection of each filter is performed. This assures that each filter is judged using visual defect criteria as defined by the standard. Defects include edge and corner chips, scratches and digs, or protrusions. The ANSI standard defines a scratch as marking or tearing of the optical surface that has a V-groove contour that is significantly longer in dimension than it is wide. It is a long imperfection. Scratches are characterized by their width, and the customer defines their requirement by specifying the maximum width for a scratch located within the clear aperture of the filter. For example, a 60 scratch designation establishes 60 microns as the maximum allowable width of a scratch located in the clear aperture of the filter. This is based on a comparative rather than a measure determination. The ANSI standard defines a dig as a round and sometimes irregular shaped hole or void, which can include grinding pits or opened and trapped bubbles. Digs are characterized by their actual diameters specified in units of tens of microns. The customer defines the requirement by specifying the maximum diameter for a dig located within the clear aperture of the filter. In other words, a 40 dig designation establishes 400 microns as the maximum allowable diameter. Again, this is based on a comparative rather than actual measurement. Once the trainee has demonstrated the ability to correctly inspect for defects, she is then tested to become certified in the process. The tests are administered using sets of filters whose defects have been fully characterized previously. An associate becomes certified once 90% proficiency on these tests is achieved. Associates that have been previously certified are retested annually using the standard defective filter sets. Use of these sets results in a uniform quality line and guarantees consistent products. This is just one of the ways that SEMROC ensures quality products in our customers' hands. We continually improve our processes to meet or exceed standards in our products.